Hi, I'm Kathleen Fisher. And I'm Paul Paquette. Hi, we're here today to talk about the spiritual law of abundance. Uh, the Pathwork Lectures refers to several spiritual laws. And today we are actually pulling from the lecture, Finding True Abundance by Going Through Your Fear, Pathwork Lecture 130. And the guide says that all that the human heart desires is immediately available when one has overcome fear. The two philosophies about life and spiritual reality exist. And that A is a person has to learn to accept the difficulties in life. And B, that nothing negative need be accepted, that all hardship, even death is unnecessary. And the guide says that the common denominator between these two is fear, that fear of A, which is that a person has to learn to accept difficulties in life, inhibits B, meaning that it creates a fear of um, accepting negativity, hardship, so therefore just turn a blind eye and, and don't even look at it, like we don't have to accept that. And that's just not real, that's not living in reality. So as long as you have fear, it is sometimes inevitable that you experience what you fear in order to lose the fear. And a fear can be shed by realizing the truth that there is no reason to fear, then it is not necessary to experience it. So be conscious of the energy currents with which you're approaching life. And there really are two currents which go in different directions. One is love and trust, and the other is fear and hatred and in insecurity. You may believe that you're not fearful. However, uh, if you observe yourself, you may find that you're guarded about other people. You withhold from other people. When you analyze that, drop into yourself and observe, you may be able to find, oh, there's a fearful attitude there of, I fear something in the other. I fear if I'm nice to them or if I fear I'm, I'm accepting to them, I will be betrayed. That energy is going out. It's a magnetic energy. It attracts what it is. If it's a fear-based energy, it will attract fear-based fear energy. People will respond to you in the same way you're responding to them. So together you're co-creating a self-reinforcing spiral towards uh, fear, distance, blockage. And that's entirely different to uh, trust uh, and love in its essence. And it's the trust and love current that will create abundance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So as long as you want the positive, mainly because you fear the negative, your fear barricades the way to the positive. And at the planet Earth, this sphere of consciousness is characterized by the desire of the positive, not for itself, but for the fear of its negative opposite. So Paul, just what you were saying that, you know, the, the magnetism of fear could create uh, a forcing current of wanting the positive, but coming from uh, the wrong intention, because one of you're so fearful of the negative or more negativity coming at us, and that fear has a magnetic quality and and um, a magnetism that does bring that to us. So the guide is saying here that to want something positive from our God consciousness, from our higher self. And as we align in our higher self and we set our intentions from that place that we then put out the consciousness and the energy from an abundant like place. Like the guide says that anything can be created from the I am state of consciousness, from, from that abundance within ourselves. We just have to acknowledge it and also acknowledge the places within us that is fearful and to address that, to go into relationship with it, to re-educate it and, and to be kind with ourselves, to be, um, to be at peace with the fact that we do have fear. 
So this is a great photo from one of Paul's friends, and it just highlights uh, what the guide is saying here. Human beings have to accept limitations within the self. That acceptance of one's temporary limitations does not mean resignation to tragedy and suffering. It simply means accepting responsibility for the less than ideal state. And that acceptance is also a spiritual law. It's a spiritual principle and that when we approach life with acceptance, that we also face life from our higher self that is willing to take responsibility for things. And that this attitude opens the door further. We relax into our strength and into our courage when we align with the, the higher self. So a spiritual exercise to do uh, to uh, on abundance is would be to uh, meditate on what is it that I I desire, what is it that I that I want, and in identifying this, uh, you want to be in your observer self. So you want to be in your conscious ego mind, looking at the interior of your psyche. So what thoughts, what feelings, what beliefs, what's going on. You want to observe that and I really uh, urge you to observe it without judgment so self-honesty without judgment you're really discovering oh what's really going on in me mm -hmm. when you contemplate what you desire if it's beautiful feelings feel into those beautiful feelings but then look for where there's something else that emerges that appears like a block and then explore that block what what is the uh what is that blockage about is it uh, a fearful blockage yeah observing yourself being honest with yourself and accepting this moment accepting this is where i'm at in this moment praying and then asking for assistance from your own higher self and your spiritual guides to say, where do I go from the reality of this moment? How do I transform it? Yeah, yeah, I really like that because at that moment in time, it's accepting the fear and also calling in the higher self, asking for divine help from the higher self. So it's the unified state by accepting all parts of the self, that there's fear, there's the acknowledgement of the conscious ego that is acknowledging the fear. And it's also reaching out to the higher self for guidance on how to uh, accept the fear, but also how, how to create movement from the fear so that we don't stay stuck in that place. So. Exactly, yes. Yeah. yeah and you, we can't miss a step. We need to right. do each, each, whatever is the next step for us. Yeah, yeah. Opening the door. So the soul, the deepest part of the psyche, already knows that its instinctive spiritual aim is eternal life, control over one's destiny, and pleasure supreme. Built deeply within us is an inborn instinct to recapture these. This is the path to abundance. That's the promise. The guide always provides a promise in each lecture. And, and here it is. So everybody enjoy your paths. Enjoy the, enjoy the exercise. Uh, if you want to get a hold of either Paul or myself, Paul is um, at the International Pathwork Foundation. You could reach him at uh, pathwork.org. I am a pathwork teacher in Connecticut. And you could reach me at Kathleen Kylie Fisher at gmail.com. Take care. Bye. God bless you. Bye-bye. Uh, 920.